So today, me, Sleepy Joe, and Mr. Yemen will be reacting to different posts you viewers made on our subreddit that we made. And first we have this. Well, thank God Roman is not in the call and well, shit, never mind. Are you kidding me? Like who made this? I am not. And I repeat, not Mickey Mouse freaking clubhouse. I am your tribal chief and head of the table, Roman Reigns. So Mr. NH Recon can personally come to my house, grab my hand, and shove it right up their ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Roman. Chill out on the guy for a minute here because we have another post for you here. And it's honestly pretty accurate if you ask me. Well, yeah, the choice between picking who to hit with the steel chair. Either the idiot nightmare Cody Rhodes and the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins was a hard one. I... That's what she said, El Mao. You know what? Let's move on, and since Joe Biden wanted to interrupt me with his immaturity, here's a meme for him, and goddamn cultural garbage, you made one hella garbage post here. You definitely simp for Mr. Sleepy over there. I don't think this post is garbage at all, Roman. I actually think I look pretty sexy in this picture. Gosh, Biden, you do look good for your age, let me tell you. That's quite obviously an AI image, you dumbass. Uh, Roman, who, what, where, when, why? is an AI because I don't know what the hell an AI is. You must be buzzed on my son's beautiful substances that keep me going. But look Excuse at this. Me? So we have Mickey Mouse Reigns, right? But now we have Ramen Reigns. He was the greatest champion of all time. Now this is just some harassment. I am literally harassed by everyone. I'm harassed by my cousin Jay for his yeeting. I'm harassed by Cody from WrestleMania. And I'm being harassed by all of my subscribers with them calling me Mickey Mouse and Ramen Reigns. Like, come on, I'm not a fucking noodle. Get a load of that shit, this guy said. His subscribers, nah, nah, Lil Bro, these people are my subscribers because this is my channel, you bitch. Well, Donnie, I think you forgot who is really the owner of the channel here, and that is Big Balls Biden. So take your demented ass back to the courtroom, will ya? I think you should hand the channel ownership back to the Big D Trump, or at least hand it over to Barry Obama. That man is always left out, munching on his KFC. You love to see it. And hey, that's another meme. But do you really need money, Obama? I think China has given you Democrats enough. And you really opened up your own restaurant. Do you call it Obama fried chicken or something? Hey, now that sounds familiar. I mean, I guess I could. I mean, he's one of my homies, unlike your Oompa Loompa looking ass. But if I were to give him the channel, he'd change the profile picture to an image of a military drone. And he'd change the channel name to the Yemen Hater Club or something. So it's kind of risky. But since we're on the topic of Obama, here's a meme for him. And it looks like he's in his Brock Lesnar era from the looks of it. Didn't know you were built like that though, but that's probably because I'm not Manchel, so I don't see that type of stuff. Kinda jealous, not gonna lie. Joe, you are one freaky freak, but one huge difference between me and Brock Lesnar is that I don't like to watch videos of women pissing. Instead, I like to watch men do it. And I am in fact jacked just like that. You just gotta take my word for it. The steroids, I mean the KFC does wonders. Now that was some of the most out of pocket shit I've ever heard as the 46th president of the United States. And speaking of stuff out of pocket, here is another out of pocket post. Donald's training course does go crazy, but I didn't think it went this crazy. Now this quote unquote meme is pretty fucked up because it really offends me that they would do this. Like I'm not that fat. Yeah, Seamus may be a fat ass, but I'm not. I have a perfect weight for a 77-year-old tangerine. Damn, you described yourself pretty well there, Donald, you piece of shit. This may be just me, but that did not sound like Seamus. I think we have a fake Seamus in the Discord call. Get this guy out of here. Okay, look, bro, I'm sorry. I was just trying to be funny. My Seamus impression isn't the best, though, but if it was, your dumbass would have thought it was actually him. Like, sometimes I think I see you on the streets of New York every day, but it's actually just a bunch of orange taxis that look like you. Jesus Christ, of course it's you, Andrew. Just trying to find a way to stay relevant. Damn, Andrew, you did roast him there, but how are you in New York right now? I thought you were still in prison. Now that's just messed up, Barack, but since I'm here, how about I find a meme, and oh damn, here's one, and it's another one about Roman over there. Ah, shit, here we go again. So this was Roman Reigns in episode seven, I believe, and here's a look-alike of him. Maui from Moana. To be fair, Maui is voiced by The Rock, so this comparison is really not that surprising. It's just the actual body structure that gets me intrigued. If I see one more meme about myself, then I'm actually gonna scream. Unless it's something good about me, then I'll acknowledge it. But I acknowledge this next post with this beautiful person on my screen. They're just so perfect. There's no other word to describe them. 
with their cute smile, their sexy hair, their one-of-a-kind ginger hair, their... Wait, so you weren't talking about mommy? Oh, of course not, Donnie. I'm talking about the alpha male right there named Buddy Matthews. Anyway, let's pretend Roman never said those god-awful things and let's move on to the next post. And this one is a pretty big hot take from Particular Block. And he states that the Undertaker versus Randy Orton rivalry was the greatest of all time. What are y'all's thoughts? Well, uh, Barack, I'm trying to remember because I was watching WWE back then, and but I, but I just c can't remember. I just don't know why. Of course you don't remember, you demented fuck. Oh, you goober. Well, I guess since I'm the only sane person here, at least for now, the drone strikes will be launched later. But I do feel like that rivalry was definitely one of Undertaker and Randy's best during their respected careers. I think saying that it was the best of all time may be a stretch. Sure, Randy burning Undertaker's casket was pretty sick, and Undertaker returning from a flaming casket at Survivor Series 2005 was pretty awesome. Definitely one of his best returns, I'd say. And the flames did remind me of Yemen, but I just don't think it was best rivalry of all time material. Barry, now I know I've said this many times to you, but you are such a freaking wrestling nerd. You make me want to vomit with how nerdy you are. And you make me want to vomit from how orange you are. Actually, sometimes when I'm really hungry after my daily drone striking sessions on Middle Eastern elementary schools and hospitals, I'm pretty hungry. And when I see you, I think you're a giant orange that I want to gobble up with my wet mouth. What did my man just say? Now that sounded more gay to me than an actual insult. Blood really thought he did something there, ha ha. You know that I'm pretty goddamn familiar with that gay stuff. Just ask my wife, Michelle. Wait, I meant my husband, Michael. Wait, no, Michelle, shit. I think it's best for you just to stop talking. Good idea, Donald. Anyway, Roman, do you remember what you said earlier? If I see one more meme about myself, then I'm actually gonna scream. Unless it's something good about me, then I'll acknowledge it. Well, yeah, and I have another post for you, and I think you may acknowledge it. You've gotta be kidding me. Where do I even begin? Roman, honey, my pookie bear. I have loved you ever since I first laid eyes on you. The way you drive into the mat and strike fear into your enemy's eyes. Your silky, smooth touch around the ring and that gorgeous spear. I would do anything for you. I wish it were... 2,000 years later. I was crying, bawling even, and I heard my glorious king exclaim these words, Acknowledge me. Not only have you changed the wrestling business and the world forever, but you've eternally changed my world. And now you're getting older, but still the goat, my goat. I love you, Pookie Bear, my glorious King Roman Reigns. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, are you two really sleeping? Even Roman is sleeping. The fucking love letter that guy wrote was for him. Now, God damn it, they beat me to it. At least there's always next time. Damn well, I guess we'll end this stupid video here. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to smash that subscribe button and like button, just like I would do to Melania. But actually, wait, there's one more post I want to go over, and it's by Cultural Garage, not Cultural Garbage, like Roman said earlier. And apparently, the expression on the dog's face would be my expression when I see your search history. So let's test that theory out. Share your screen right now, Joe, you old bitch. Did the fossil just dip?